Oh my God. There's a lot of, there's a whole lot of well, setup. Well, what, what's. We gotta at we least say hi to the people. Yeah. First. Okay. All right. Hello. We start bitching. Are we, are we going already? <clears throat> We're Should going we to. Cheers. To, uh, yeah. Let's what, start let's, out. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the show. We are going to cheers to whoa, the whoa, season whoa, whoa. finale. Clank, clank, We've clank. got. What, what is it about Matt? Sir. I'm, I'm he's switching he's, cameras. He's doing camera work. Oh, he's got his little plastic. He's got cup his little right cup right there. He's clank, fine. Clank. Honorary. Clank. Don't spill it. All this right. Is, this is this is a uh, House of the Dragon wine. Yes. Yeah. Okay. The ofi- official House of the Dragon. Made from the hottest of D. Yes. Yeah. It needs ice. <laughs> it does. Really? The Valerian steel version. I, I listen. I drink wine with ice. No, I need cheese. I'm, I'm I need a, a charcuterie board. You know Ooh, what I mean? Oh yeah. That's Jeez. what we need. We I'm need afraid. Char- I'm afraid to put this anywhere near. <laughs> I'm afraid to put this anywhere near Matt's sacred mm. place, Matt's. So well, we have we have cup yeah. So are, can can we unload? Start to well. Unload? No, hold on, hold on. Let me, gotta, let me. There's going to be some structure We're to the about unloading. The finale. You want one? <sighs> okay. Okay. Going to be some structure. All right, guys. This. Welcome back to the channel. Mm. We're going to be talking about the season finale, season two of uh, House of the Dragons, and we are going to live up to our name. Mm-hmm. This is the Salty Nerd Podcast for a reason. <laughs> Um, although I thoroughly enjoy this show and it is by and large, one of the best ones out there, especially compared to some of the other things that we've watched. Mm-hmm. This was not a great season. Man, now. they dropped this, the ball. They this was, this dropped was, it. This was I, the drizzling shits. I would venture to say it was not a finale at all. It wasn't. No, I feel like no. there's another episode. I'm like, yeah, there's another one, right? I just, no. <laughs> the, <laughs> penultimate. The, thing is, the, thing, the thing is the pen penultimate. Yeah. The, the thing, you know, as we're getting into this, it's just, you established such goodwill with season one. Mm. You actually revived this whole franchise, yeah. the whole Song of Ice and Fire franchise, and then you shit the bed. On season two, like just season two, not even just se- the season finale, but season two as a whole. You think so? Oh yeah, I agree. really. It's been a little, a lot more dragons, which is great. That's there's been, been a lot. The- of, there's been a lot of cool scenes with dragons, but man, Here, here's um, these just some of these these characters I, I'm not into, and and the way they just didn't deliver. No. I'd, I'd say everything so after episode four was a big letdown. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Episode, and then also yeah. episodes one through four. One through four were <laughs> letdowns as well because, and we'll get into it, but some of the stuff that was done in the season premiere really affected how the season finale played out. Sure. And we'll get into that once we get to those specific areas. <sighs> um. So as always, we're going to go through each episode by episode, but I, th- I, I want to just kind of mention something as to start. It's like, we've got at least two years before we get the next season. Yeah. <laughs> yes. At least. I'm tired of this. Um, I'm tired of this they, having to wait that long. Why are people I'm getting so lazy? lazy? I'm getting old. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you think that's I why they killed off Hugh's daughter? Because she's going to be two years older by the time the next much. season? Maybe. I'm going to be like 79 years old before this series is over with. Like, I'm is, upset. As much as I... I'm happy for the peak TV and I'm happy for some of the lack of restrictions when it comes to streaming. Mm -hmm. The laziness is a problem for me because I remember when we had more so broadcast shows. Mm -hmm. You had to hustle. You had to hustle. You got it done. And what happened is that sometimes you do a course correct during the season if it was like, okay, this is something that's changing. Um, Because, you know, I actually worked in network TV at one point. And so it's like, yeah, there was actual production and they weren't just taking two, three years between seasons. It's like, come on, dude, deliver. You kill so much of momentum when you do that. Do you you think that uh, Max, HBO, whatever the fuck it's called now, (laughs) is, um, do they think that we're just used to this? Do they think, oh, you know, we kind of shit the bed during the original Game of Thrones because there was that one season that was like, three or four years or something between season seasons. eight season eight yeah, yeah. Season it was, eight, yeah, it was yeah. crazy yeah right so i think there's always been like a gap between seasons for the, for the game of thrones stuff but this is too long not, this oh, is not, oh, not, too not the first not the first oh, also season eight was like six episodes so like yeah. it was like even shorter because the original game of thrones it was like 10 episode seasons yes and like all, right. the, all the big stuff would happen on episode eight and then nine episode, nine well episode eight to nine but uh like Essentially, they would have stuff that would happen in the penultimate, and that would be like the big episode of the season. And then they would spend like an episode or two just kind of like setting the stage for what was to come. Do Dealing with the do, fallout. And, do I have to and, drink every time he says the word? No, I'm just drinking because I want to drink. Because okay. when you think, because you think. Uh, about- the, like the big news that came out after the, this turd of a season finale dropped <laughs> is that they're only going to do two more seasons. Yeah. And so season three is going to be like 
like flat out all war, all conflict. We'll see. And then uh, season <laughs> season four is going to be like the, like, I, mean, I guess the wrap up or something I, like that. I get them needing to set things up. Mm -hmm. I get it. I do. But that's all we've gotten. <laughs> also. For two seasons is the setup. Fire and Blood is crazy long. And y'all picked this story to do. Yes. So you guys decided you needed two seasons of setup. Yes. You should have figured out a way. You had how many years in between to fucking figure it out? And you had uh, Damon on an acid trip mm. for six episodes. The yeah, entire yeah. season. Yeah. Entire and it's, season and it's not like they're working from a book that isn't complete. Well, the, the thing, source material from, is there, right? From what, I've, yes. from what I've learned about that, though, with Damon is like he they made, was like, made a bunch of shit up. Well, yeah, yes. basically, basically, he's like he was just kind of out of the picture for a while, hanging yeah. out in Heron Hall, and they didn't really write much about him in the book. And then in the show, they were like, "Well, we got to have Matt Smith." Well, the, do the, something. The book is it, it's written as like a like a history tome, like, yeah. like a textbook yeah. almost uh, by by a maester instead of like it actually being like a narrative. It's just like, okay, here's what happened. And this person said this happened. With a little mushroom, like with a little mushroom trips. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Several maesters and a jester. And the thing too, is that, um, this is the thing that really bothered me about, it wasn't as bad season one, but it really got bad this season. The gaslight gatekeep girl bossification oh, of yeah. Rhaenyra. Mm. So one Elaborate. of the things, this is one of the things that I think people like to see. They like to see insanely rich and powerful families fighting each other, whether internally or with another family and being awful about it. Mm -hmm. Dynasty. Yeah. Days succession. of our lives. Days of our lives. <laughs> there's, Dallas, there's, Dallas, Falcon Crest, Succession. The peaky fucking blinders. Peaky fucking blinders. <laughs> it's like. It's okay to have your protagonist be awful. Right. We've seen that with Sopranos and uh, Breaking Bad and Mad Men. Yeah, there's, Tommy there's, Shelby there's, is not a nice person. No, no. they're usually the most <laughs> more. Well, we'd all anyway. fuck them. Yes. <laughs> yes. And so it's just like. You'd fuck them. They're, <laughs> they're in pursuit of power. Yeah. And so you're going to have to be awful and ugly. And I initially, I remember as far back as season one, when they removed Rhaenyra basically ordering Damon to kill Vaymond. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, that's a that's going to be a problem. Even as cool as, cool as that death was, they took that away from her. And that was a red flag right there. Mm -hmm. And then we saw it constantly throughout the season where, oh, I want peace. Oh, I want peace. No, motherfucker. They stole your crown. You want his head. Yeah. So Damon killed Damon. And where's Gaiman and <laughs> Freeman and Charlie Men? And we haven't seen Gaiman pale hair yet. Oh, that's <laughs> a real will. guy? Okay. Yeah. Okay, All right. but also, like... Them doing that for two straight seasons, making her be like the pacifist. Oh, and, yeah, no. yeah. And now when it gets to a point in the finale where she's like, yeah, we have to go to war. We're going to have to kill some innocent people. Now, all of a sudden, it seems like, whoa, whoa, lady, yes. where'd that come from? Are you being a mad queen? And you know, and now they're making her seem a little crazy. And you know, the thing, too, is it goes back to I'm not going to I'm not going to do this. Sorry. Um, it goes back to what happened with Daenerys, where yeah. Daenerys in the books, she was always the villain. We're just seeing it from her POV. So it's going to be skewed. Mm -hmm. So when they did that abrupt heel turn in season eight, there's so many things that they removed and so many things that they whitewashed. So that's why it felt so weird. And so now they're going to do this with their Nero towards the end. I'm like, you should have been fucking building up. Well, no, because I mean, at this point, I'm rooting for Rhaenyra to start freaking spilling some blood. Mm -hmm. But I think isn't the point of the story was supposed to be that there's no good. E no. Each side is supposed to be evenly like. Yes. And now I'm like, no, Rhaenyra is obviously the hero of the story, and she has to go. Well, actually, the protagonist doesn't protagonist. Make the hero. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll say this: so, uh, like, by season eight of Game of Thrones, the franchise was basically dead. Mm -hmm. That season was so bad; mm -hmm. it was like the most popular TV show on the planet. Yes, and every single person who watched that show after season eight was like, "I have no interest in this anymore" because yeah. it was yeah. so bad. Whoop this. Then season one of House of the Dragons comes and basically resurrects a dead franchise yes. because it was actually good. Yes. And so the mentality of these showrunners where they're like, we're going to make sure nothing happens in this season <laughs> finale and we're just going to set up for like a season that's like two or three years down the road. Mm. Boggles my mind. Mm. <laughs> like I mean, they should have had something happen. In yeah, this there was some stuff that happened. Like, like this, but this felt like a like an episode before the season I finale. know, but you know, we had a... a Damon, you know, bent the knee to his wife. 
Should have happened four episodes. Should have happened right. four episodes. You know, a uh, uh, sheep stealer. We should have happened four Duck episodes ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, like everything that happened in this w- was stuff that like wasn't exciting. Corliss, like, like, no. Corliss got his asshole chewed out by his by his master. dickhead son. I don't, I don't like <laughs> that guy even mistress, less. Not by his mistress. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this guy's. I don't want anything from you because you didn't do anything for me. I'm like, you can't blame him though. I can't. No, all seven seasons are just build up to. A, a, a ass chewing and a, a, a bent the knee and a dragging on. Yeah. Know, so okay. Here's the thing though. It's like, do you guys, oh. here's what's also, we got to get, hold on. We got to go back to our, we're getting out of the, yeah. Uh, yeah. We're getting sure. let's, let's start off first scene. Yes. We got first Lannister first. Yahoo twin guy uh, <laughs> hanging out with the triad. Thailand. 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 Thailand Lannister. Thailand they, Lannister. They should have made him a dwarf. So. <laughs> <laughs> Try would have been way more. So, and, and, and just to remind people, this is the, Kingdom. The triarchy is the kingdom of the three daughters. Now these are three of the three the free cities: mm-hmm. Mir, Mir, Lys, and Tirosh. Okay. And so basically, the free cities are always kind of pairing up and then fighting and then pairing up and fighting out. They were former colonies of the Valerian Freehold, but now they're free. There's a lot of the blood of old Valeria in sure. them. Sure. And basically, they hate Damon and Corlys because they were trying to take the step zones and they were warring with. And this Corlys. is who they had the war with last season. Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah. So they have they have bad blood against Damon and mm-hmm. Corliss. Um, and then now the Lannister for the green side is trying to get them on their side so they could fight the blockade. Yes. Um, that's all fine and dandy. This should have been one scene. It should have been one scene or yeah, or a they, mention. They, and then got, and then they had a mud les, mud wrestling scene. But they got really cool, you know, trans whatever. Uh, no, she was just a queen, chick. queen she's chick, a queen. whatever, she's a queen chick. Queen of the Stepstones or something like that. I don't know. Sure. I don't know if she's from she's got She was the <laughs> captain, the ship's captain. She, a lot of she was basically him yeah. for yeah. them. Yes. Yeah. But also they kept calling her him. Did they? Did they? Yeah. Oh, God. Does this sell the book? I don't remember. It's a dude the in the book. It's a dude in yeah. the book. Yeah. 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 So, so like the, in, Woke. in, in, in the, in the making of, of documentary after the, the show aired, all the staff, like crew members and stuff like that, were referring to that character as a he. Yeah. Mm, cool. Pronouns in Game of Thrones, guys. <laughs> yes. Uh, anyway. Um, <laughs> right. My, All right. This like, went down a little bit. Here's the thing. Scale. This is a fine mm-hmm. scene. Like, whatever. Yeah, cool. We need to know that the Greens are going down there to negotiate with the triad. I get all that. That's totally fine. But a season finale scene? No. A mud wrestling scene? No. Like, why it, are we spending so much time like down here? It seemed like something they were like, like one of the writers was watching Old School last weekend. And they were like, <laughs> you know, it would be hilarious. You're my boy, Blue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And they're like, yeah, it's. I don't have a problem with the scene, at, like in most ways, but the fact that it's in a season finale and that it's just kind of like, a, it just kind of like, yeah, this is what we're doing now. And I'm like, but what? But what why, purpose? Why does this matter? This is so a much? character that we haven't really cared. I haven't about. really cared about. It's always been a side character. No, don't yeah. really give a shit. His brother was. Dude. His brother in one scene was way more interesting. Listen, than way more. I was so blue balled by this episode. <laughs> I went and I watched the Battle of Blackwater Bay <laughs> from the original right. Game of Thrones, like season, season two. two or something episode like nine. that. Yeah, exactly. I went and I was like, I need to finish. I need to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go I gotta, watch something I gotta, good. I gotta get so you didn't want it. So you didn't want a taste of it. You wanted the whole load. <laughs> I, was, I'm like, I want the whole thing. This is freaking nothing, man. So I, I feel went. like I've been edged for two yeah, seasons. Yeah, seriously. And like this was the day I was supposed to come, and the and the, and the writers were like, no, 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 not yet, not Where's yet. Not yet. Like, two, two more years. years. I'm like, I'm gonna be dead in two years, God, motherfuckers. You know, I just. I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> this is the craziest podcast ever. <laughs> I just feel like I've been getting edged. Yeah. Ooh, and it's just they it's didn't like finish. You didn't just and it was just, me, I had, yeah, I had to go watch then, a yeah. battle. It's like they the, just go in like like knuckle deep and they don't go in all the way. And it's, 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 it's so crazy. <laughs> didn't let me finish. Sorry. Not, no, no, no. Not oh, okay. that way. Not that way. I mean, I'm talking like gotcha. they didn't let me finish. <laughs> Give us your O face. Yeah. <laughs> Can't. There it is. Oh, 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 you can't. You, there's no O face watching this there's show. There's no O face in this show. That's there's the no big, O. That's the biggest problem. There's, there's no, no O. o. Thank you. Yeah. There's no O. There's no O. And like, <laughs> and we're gonna skip ahead because this is the. I got no maybe, D. Maybe we should. Out of this. Maybe we should. Okay. Episode. Oh, here's another <laughs> thing. Yeah, this D wasn't very hot. It was another, cold. <laughs> another edging scene. Are you? Did you just finish off the bottle? Didn't even get past half mast. Um. Um. I okay. Over there for you guys. There's two we have, bottles. We have Amond, who in response to getting. Whoa, that was yeah, way... Yeah, just finish it. I, that was more than I Mr. expected. Mr. I don't even yeah. like just, red wine. You just finished that bottle? <laughs> Jesus. Um, on, <laughs> so in response to getting... Cheers. Thank you, Jude. To, in response to getting shit kicked out of uh, the Dragonstone, right? Yes. And going and turning around. Then he's like, well, I'm going to go burn a city. Mm-hmm. And then, then don't show it. Yeah, they show the aftermath. They just show afar. him. They just show him standing over the burnt city, going, "Yes, I did this." Oh. Uh, hover 
moving like a spacecraft. Dragons He's not on a rock? Hover. Yeah. Wait, hold on. I, 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 thought, I, on I think it's very obvious that um, they blew their budget on episode four. Mm, oh, yeah. And so, like, they, and there was seven. a lot of stuff that they couldn't do for the rest of the season. And seven. And no, seven yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's like standing on a rock or something. It's that, it's that scene where Vermithor no, has he's lunch. On, uh, that costs a lot of money. <laughs> no, 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 I know. But Vagar is like sitting on a rock. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. All right. Alan, snack time. Alan, maybe. Yeah. Targaryen like snack time. Just, like hovering in the air. And I was like, what the fuck? Or, or, like, no, have no, you ever seen was, a bird do was, that? That's he, how you know you're in the Matrix. He was perched on a rock. Yeah. Because okay. look, right, there's, a, Alan, there's a cliff right behind him. See it? Okay. So he's perched up on a cliff. Which they did not do a good establishment. If you're going to do an establishing shot, do an establishing I mean, shot. Yeah. Lunch time for Vermithor costs at least $40 million. And fly time for Silverwing. Yeah. yeah. So, But this was another thing. This, this is just the issue with the show. And I hope they correct it in season three, which it maybe if they're we like, oh, next we'll season's going to be the big one. <laughs> like, I thought that's what this was. So, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. this season was supposed to be the big one. Yeah. Um, Stop telling me it's almost time to go. <laughs> they have not we, hit critical just, mass. Yeah. I'm going to go into the bathroom for a minute. Yeah, like why not, later. why not show him, like wouldn't it be like not as much CGI to show him flying over Look, the city and everything? Why Why do that? Why, why have all these cool dragon scenes when we can have 10 minutes of, mud of, of, no, mud of, of the kid chewing Ulf out for being a, for being a slob? You know, that was one of the slight like, positives <laughs> because that will be well, a problem. We'll get that there in a minute. Is key to Ulf's character, yes. so I get why they did. Yes. That. Yeah. Well, yeah. He needs to be that person, yeah. though. Like he's not going to be all proper and prim, you know. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh well, I'm with the queen now. Ulf's no, going to be, be a Ulf. problem, mm -hmm. and they need to establish that early mm -hmm. on. Yeah. So I, it just this is the frustrating part about the show is just like they always want to cut away, and the action happens off screen. Mm -hmm. uh, Hugh Hugh's daughter dying uh, off screen was yeah. just like a. Com huge question mark for me. I'm like, Too why? Much CGI off, needed off screen is a much more budget. interesting show than what we're seeing. Yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. like, that's everything a cool is happening. Not for you, though. Like, <laughs> it, it, and I'm not trying to, uh, like, Hugh is just an easy one to kind of like write in my own head. It's like, okay, so you got this guy who works for the crown. He's the blacksmith. His daughter's dying. He's not getting any money from the crown. He's yeah. not getting any food from the crown. Nope. He's loyal to them, as he showed in the early episodes. He's like, well, yeah, but it's King Aegon. And he told me he was going to, he was like trusting and trusting and trusting. But then we never see the moment where he gets betrayed by the Greens and says, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to go fight for the Blacks. Like, he just fucked off and went to the Blacks. The, only, like, the, only, the only slight positive that we saw is when they changed his story and merged it as one of Sarah's bastards. I like that. That was actually pretty cool. Like that's that. pretty cool. That was a great choice. That yeah. was a nice choice, yeah. Yeah. Um, the next scene we get is with Aegon and the uh, Grand Maester. Uh, Aegon is still in... in I don't know, recovery yeah. mm -hmm. uh, again looking very much like his father mm -hmm. um, but this was an interesting thing and I don't know if it happened in the books this way you guys might be able to help me so uh, the clubfoot comes in and says hey look man uh, if you stick around you're gonna die mm -hmm. so we need to book it we need to get out of here we need to get the hell out of here now we didn't see it what do you mean God, I don't know how much I can say um, but either way when what happens happens he's not found in the city Neither is the club. Yeah, he does escape, and, well, yeah. and Laris, okay, so he does leave. Laris is his <clears throat> the um, ally. That's yeah. what I'm trying to figure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, trying to figure out. That was the last thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they showed they them showed him leaving. leaving. Yeah, so they saw it. So basically, but the problem they did it too early. But whatever. Fine. <laughs> yeah, you gotta whatever. pick your battles. I know. Man. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but I can say it now more because you guys are all seeing what I'm seeing. Yeah. Outside of Jude, who already knew. <laughs> you, yeah. you should see the text between Charles and I while we're watching oh, the man. episodes. Was and I was so unwhelmed yesterday that Ooh. I didn't even text him the whole time I was watching. <laughs> but he texted me like 45 minutes later and I was just like, yeah, man. What did I text you? I texted him like, did you guys watch this yeah, shit? And you were like, what the fuck? Is this? <laughs> that was me. Literally, I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> So, I mean, there's not even that much to talk about in this episode. So, yeah, the yeah, club. You know what's funny is like, just like the overall internet reaction, it, it, it's all the same. It's, yeah, it's, it's all, like it's what like, what the fuck did we just watch? I feel yeah. like everybody feels like hopefully next week's episode is better, but this was it Ooh, for two it. years. The end. My face is so red. It was <laughs> I haven't had any alcohol in a month. You can tell. <laughs> your, your blue balls analogy is perfect. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's perfect. It's blue balls. It's a blue like, ball. We're, blue all balls the we're all in a lot of pain right now. We got to go take care of business. Oh, I was fine. I went Some and watched Blackwater Bay. It was yeah. great. The uh, freaking wildfire. Got your oh, Tyr over Black a, a Tyrion Bay. Lannister on the wall with you got Joffrey. Your got your release. The Hound. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I hate to do this, but I mean, it's Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones, right? That should be the title of the episode. Blue balls. Blue balls. <laughs> blue balls, the episode. <laughs> um, 
Like, if you go back and watch the early seasons of Game of Thrones, like, they had all these little minute side characters, yeah. but they spent just enough time with each one so that when something did happen to them that was big, you were like, oh, shit, and you know Barris what? just did this because thing. Because they were following the books. Yeah. And That's th why. Yeah, and this one is like, yeah, we have all these side characters, but they're not spending enough time with them in order for us to be, like, satisfied with what happens to them later. Like, there's mm -hmm. no, the payoff is there, but they never set it up. It's so freaking like, weird. Like, even just something, I mean... We could do this in King's Landing. But something with Iron Rod. Guy's got like 25 kids. Mm -hmm. Talk a little about that. <laughs> you get why he's wow. called Iron Rod now. Yeah. Uh, so, um, oh, yeah. I like it. Yeah. So just little things like, like, but I see what you mean. It's like make these characters interesting, but make it pertinent to the story. Yeah. Like I remember even just, I, I was watching or reading something. Like I still watch videos like about the theories about Game of Thrones mm -hmm. and the books. Yeah, me and, too. It pissed me like anytime I hear about the stuff that Dave and Dan did or didn't do, it pisses me off even more because I guess they stripped away so much of the fantastical stuff, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which we're dialed into these characters now. You can do that shit. Yeah. And it's just like it would have really well, they, made such oh, a man. If, if they had zombie Caitlin Stark. Yes. Oh, I mean, that's Lady a big Stoneheart part of yeah, the book. Yeah, yeah. Lady Stoneheart would be yeah. badass. Yeah. But anyway, I'm so, um, still upset. <laughs> yeah, I'm so pissed about The that. next scene is uh, actually one that I actually enjoyed was Jace comes in. He sees Ulf kicking his feet up on the table. In, in Rhaenyra's seat. Rhaenyra's yes. seat. Hugh the Hammer's like, bro, you better run the fuck up. <laughs> I love that Jace was like, you are not like me, motherfucker. You yeah. are a freaking degenerate. I am the queen's son. I am the prince. Yeah. I this. I, he knows the well, law. Ulf, Ulf didn't like, even know who he was. He doesn't yeah. Yeah. I, I This scene was Brilliant. I loved it. I love that Jace actually freaking stood up for himself and was like, you piece of shit. Because Adam, so, Adam, Adam, be Adam, and, Adam and Hugh knew what was up and they knew like, hey, we're yeah. lucky. Let's yeah. chill. You're I lucky also to be here. find it very hard to believe that some nobody drunk from King's Landing wouldn't have known to be like, oh, my prince, my lord. Or hmm. like, even if you don't know that that's the prince, you wouldn't have known to be like, I'm I'm lower than but you. But isn't that I'm, like I'm Ulf, dirt. though? I feel like Ulf is the type of guy who's like, I don't Ulf give a shit about Ulf is a drunk. You well, yeah. he was he's, the one who was bragging that he's Balon's, one of Balon's bastards. Yeah. In a bar. Yeah. <laughs> Not in the castle of Dragonstone. Not in Dragonstone, yeah. I get a little bit that now that he's a dragon rider, he thinks that he's come up in the world. He's right. king but shit. still, yeah. you don't sit in the queen's chair like, oh, I'm just one of you guys now. It's like, yeah. You're not. The, the and I, I find it very hard to believe that somebody with his upbringing and his history and his life thinks that now all of a sudden, now that he's a dragon rider, he's equal to anyone. I, Fuck off. I did like that <laughs> scene uh, later on when they're having dinner and uh, Rhaenyra kind of admonishes all for he's She's like, a knight would not purport himself as so. Mm -hmm. And he's like, oh, I guess you better make me a knight. <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All of us you don't make demands it. of the queen. Mm -hmm. yeah. In what fucking world? He, All, he wasn't he demanding lost his it. Head right he, there. he was just kind of like, I'm not a knight. So you, do you think, you think if Damon had been there at that point? He would have oh. copped it. Yeah, he just would have like chopped his head off. Right? But here's the thing, though. It's like they're desperate for riders, right? So he, this guy, all, all technically has the upper hand in this Bullshit. situation. They could have come up behind him, slit his throat, and then been like, next. Okay, next. <laughs> no thank, shit. You think so? You, thank you, next. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Jude's a freaking savage. <laughs> no, that's, oh, you know what? <laughs> that's you, what. If you're going to steal my throne. Yeah. That's what Book Rhaenyra would have done. Yeah. Hmm. So you think they, they softened her up too much? I too guess. much. Yeah. They're trying to make her sympathetic. Book Rainier would have had a chicken wing in one hand and a knife in the other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Book Rainier was a little thick, right? She yes. Liked, she liked her uh, she, delight. She was, you know, more, you know, more cushion for the you know, pushing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She was like, listen, we all have our uh, vices and food is mine. Okay. Well, also, she had like six childbirths. So there's that, too. That has an effect. All right. <laughs> the next scene. <laughs> She's still cute, though. Oh, uh, yeah. The Next scene is uh, Rhaenyra and Corlys. Finally, this motherfucker fixes his ship. <laughs> Finally, yeah. Finally, God Finally. damn. He's like, oh, the ship's ready now. I was like, it's been fucking eight episodes, bro. <laughs> I'm like, God damn, did you rebuild it? This is the thing. It's like these writers are like, listen, we don't need the ship until the last fucking episode. Yeah. We have to spend the entire mm -hmm. season showing that but, they're working but, on it. Bro. Let's, let me, let me, like, what did Corlys do this entire season? He worked with the goddamn customers. He grieved. He, you know, he grieved. <laughs> He grieved, yes, fair. But did yeah. we ever actually, like, besides well, a couple of scenes of him going like, oh, man, well, and then oh, sitting shit. in his chair. And he did barely he, acknowledged his bastards. Did he do anything in this the, season? The, the thing was is that Driftmark was rebuilding their navy, so it wasn't just his one ship. They were, like, basically uh, rebuilding all the ships that they lost during the battle for the 
for the Step Stones, and most of their fleet was uh, engaged in the blockade of King's Landing. Yeah, and so he he was basically tasked by um, the Blacks to, you know, uh, like build an armada that they could then use to like, you know, choke off uh, King's Landing with, and uh, that that's one of the reasons why the Greens had to like go and make that deal with the uh, Triarchy is because you know, their, their fleet was on the other side of the continent. Yeah. And so, uh, it was kind of like a race to like, okay, like which one can get the biggest fleet the quickest and Corliss being like the big Navy power in, uh, on the, what is it? Eastern coast of Westeros. Mm -hmm. Uh, so like, it wasn't like his, his ship is the flagship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so they were taking like extra time and care to like build that one up. But they were building multiple ships at uh, at Driftmark. I love everything you're saying, but I didn't see any of that in the yeah. show. Cause, cause, <laughs> and, he, and he hit the nail on the head because when you think about it, some of their big allies, the Reach, mm -hmm. and then the Westerlands, they're on the western side, literally the western side of the continent. So I don't even know if the Reach. I I, I think the Reach. I don't think no, if the Reach isn't. Oh, sorry. That's right behind you. That's right behind you. Oh, there you go. Well, I don't know. It, if it was Lan Lan it was Lannisport, and it was Old Town. Old Town. The, yeah, yeah, Old yeah. Town. So. They're on the other side of the continent. So it's like it would take so long to even get there. Yeah, like they have to basically sail down south around Dorne up through the Stepstones. Through the Arm of Dorne. Yeah. yeah, around the Arm of Dorne. So it would mm. be just a pain in the ass. And there's no way they're doing up north. I would retire in Dorne. <laughs> yes, it seems awesome. My point is, like, I like <laughs> Coralus as a character seems like he has so much potential. Yes. And that's basically, I think that's my general thoughts on this whole show is that it has yeah. so much potential. Well, well the first couple episodes of the season, he was recovering from almost dying. Sure. Right? Fair enough. And, and then like his wife goes and dies. And so he, he starts mourning. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, then he becomes Hand of the King. And that's where we're at like right now. And so. Queen. Yeah. Sorry. Hand of the Queen. And he actually, <laughs> right. and remember <laughs> the, um, the badge that he has, that's the one that Rhaenyra ripped off of Otto. In last season, really? Yes, they didn't remake one. Wait, no, well, the hand now because remember the oh, hand is right. now the many chains. The hand, the many hands chain that mm -hmm. Kristen is wearing. You just, yeah. you just reminded me that Otto never showed back up. Oh, he did. He did at the very end of this the episode. Very, very yeah. He did. Yeah. yeah. Apparently, he's somebody's captive. Yeah. So, so in the, the montage the, at the, um, at the end, they showed him uh, locked up in a cage. Oh, I didn't know that was him. Yeah, yeah I him. barely that's remember Otto. that. Okay, that's, that's the problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the issue. It's yes. like, we've been like, where's Otto? Where's Otto? He, they killed, uh, Kristen Cole killed some dude last season. Mopey Cole? Mopey Cole killed He killed, some, he killed Lord Beadsbury. Beadsbury. Cole yeah. the Mopey. The theory is, and we don't know this because the fucking show didn't tell you, but the theory is that the Beesberry wanted revenge for the death of their lord. The so what, Larry? The, the Beesberries. Bees, so, bees, what is it? Bees. So, okay. So, <laughs> so, so, so remember, so, okay. So remember when Viserys died. After Viserys died, the Greens started making their plans. They started having their council. And, and the all, one guy that stood up for Rhaenyra, they killed him. Kristen killed him. Okay. He like slammed he, he his head. He smashed his head into that little ball thing that they have on the table. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And so yeah. his family is pissed because they actually don't know he's dead. They're thinking he's in one of the black cells in the Red Keep. Hmm. All right. You know, and I'm pretty a lot sure of the book is ambiguous, but the show made it clear. It's like this is the stuff yeah. that I feel like the show would be much better if it took the time to actually show us this kind of stuff instead of like, mud wrestling instead of mud wrestling <laughs> and fucking just random ass shit like and walks through the woods and yeah and camping with the queen like swimming <laughs> in the lake <laughs> swimming. hey guys uh, welcome back to camping and, with the queen you know what's funny is i and i all props to this person i don't know who the podcast was but i was watching some stuff because i'm trying to figure out i'm like am i missing something here i'm like am i not, not watching you. the show appropriately i watched this one podcast and they were like well if you watch the show with uh, Allison in the woods, she's surrounded by green. Yeah. And no matter what she does, she can't escape the green. And I'm like, that's cool. You are fucking stretching. That too. That is, <laughs> that's stretching. This isn't to the, the same podcast that said that the Battle of Winterfeld was great because you couldn't see anything and therefore your imagination. <laughs> no, no, it's the not gaps. the same podcast, Whoa. but I know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay, because that was the biggest cope I ever saw. I was like, yeah. oh, wow. it, was, it was cool that. It was so dark and you couldn't see anything because it allowed your imagination to like run wild. <laughs> it made it uh, scary. And, and also that podcast is probably going to come out tomorrow with an episode about why this finale was so great because then it leaves your imagination open to what is actually going to happen next week when there is no show. You create your own finale in your mind. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I just keep picturing that scene from Orgasmo where like the big lady comes out. She's like, you're going to make me kill. Act like, you're, Act into like it. you're into it, guys. Act like you're into it. Man, we are salty today. Yeah. All right. That's the point. The next scene, Damon hanging out with uh, Lord Farquaad, whatever his name is. <laughs> Simon. Simon. 
si- yeah, so Simon Simon's Strong, like, Simon, well, actually, Simon Strong, and then the guy that the envoy that Rhaenyra sent. Yeah, what is his guy? I See, this traitor the too. Is I feel like I should know this guy's name by now, but I don't because so don't, he's basically he's one of the lords of the Crownlands, from what I understand. Right, and so he comes in. And he's basically supposed to kind of make sure to see what Damon's doing. He's trying to find his intentions. Yeah. He's like, are you for Rhaenyra or are you doing your own thing? But he's also complaining. But he's also like, yeah, yeah. bro, if you're doing your own thing, I'm in. I'm in. And, go, and go, Star- go. You here for, for, for Rhaenyra? Because if you're not. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> right? he, need, he needs shanked. Yeah, yeah so he he's basically working he's a, he's against he's Rhaenyra. But Damon guy. picks up on that. Do you yeah. guys notice that? He mm-hmm. looks at him, he's like... What are the trees? <laughs> I love that they took him into the God's Wood. That was yeah. cool. Yeah. And then Simon Strong was kind of peeping on that and was just like... Oh, well, dude, I love this guy. He's yeah, the hero. He's, great. He's, he's, the hero. Great. he's the hero of the show. Yeah, he's, great. he's like, oh, these motherfuckers are plotting. Yes. I gotta go talk to the queen. And he goes and tells him the raven. <laughs> and then You know his scroll from the raven. She got it and she unwrapped it and, and it said, girl. <laughs> <laughs> this, you will not believe I, what these motherfuckers are I saying. Will, I, have to, I have to admit. I have to admit. So she got that letter. This is my, my favorite scene of this entire episode. Mm-hmm. She's like, oh no. <laughs> Fuck this. I'm you this. get your dragon. We're going on a trip. And she went down there and she fucking. Like and, a boss. And, it was, and it was smart that he went in took, there and she just and she just made Damon. It's like this is this is your moment right now, motherfucker. You're gonna bend the knee or fire and blood. Because or, all or, or the, we're done. All the and army that he brought it, together were here for her. Yeah. Yeah. So even if he was like, no, this is for me, they would all turn this on This annoyed but me I, how he was like, they're all sworn to me. For like her. why are we yeah. still yeah. why, are we, yeah, why yeah. are we still doing this? That's the thing. I right. thought yeah. we I thought I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought, I thought it was a really strong, pretty powerful scene as far I agree. As the re- as, as, as compared to the rest of the show, yeah. this did something. This is like a moment of like, oh right. yeah, this is what the show could. Be. This is where they come together. Yeah, and now she's got the army, she's got the dragons, mm-hmm. she's got the boats. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, we're, we're, checkmate, man! Sounds very familiar. We're, 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 we're kind of so, skipping over the um, the vision that Damon had, where I, basically mm-hmm. he. He, touch, he touches the weirwood tree, uh, the yeah. the bloody sap. Uh, this could have happened on fingers. episode. Three. It's all the Khaleesi. This could have not little dragons. Listen, this is pretty cool. Here's the issue with that, <laughs> right? right? Here's the issue with with flashing forward. Damon seeing visions of Daenerys mm-hmm. and and the White Walkers and this shit. Mm-hmm. Um, that Green felt men. that whole fucking thing is a bad memory for most Game of Thrones watchers, <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh, the fucking White Walkers that oh, actually didn't fucking do anything? Yeah. This shit? And Daenerys, who fucking turned into a piece of shit and yeah, died for no true. reason? This shit? This shit? Like, this is what you're going to remind us of? Uh-huh. This is what's going to turn the tide for Damon? I thought that was what? stupid. I thought the whole thing, like, doing that, even just any connection to Game yeah, of don't, Thrones. Don't, don't do that. They shouldn't have done that. Don't because do that. it's like, we all know how it ends. You don't want to remind people how it ends. Yeah. Like you should have just that, that vision is dumb it, because it turns the whole thing pointless. Well, yes. well, also, this this gets into like book versus show stuff where Dan and Dave basically drop the ball so hard. The Song of Ice and Fire is a metaphor for Jon Snow. Mm-hmm. He, is the, sure. he is the joining of the Targaryens and the Snark right. and the Starks, the ice and the fire. He's Azor Ahai, reborn, the prince that was promised. He's the one who's meant to basically stop the White Walkers save the world. And, and save the world. The, yeah. and, and so, like the the entire saga of a, of a song of ice and fire is meant to be like Jon Snow's like ultimate rise as the hero reborn and that's that's what's layered in the books that's what makes the books so, so like layered and interesting and 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 fantastic and in the show they're like I ah, give it to Arya yeah <laughs> this is a, he's like he's like the, the, the he's uh Al Qaeda or but, like, yeah he's yeah, yeah he's, but, he's, he's, he's Ma Deep he's, yeah, he's, 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 he's basically Ma, Ma, Ma Deep but, <laughs> but the thing is is like in the vision so like you, you know, the thing about the Weirwoods and he saw Blood Raven in his mm-hmm. vision and stuff mm-hmm. like that. And we know that, you, you know, the Green Seers in the future, like once they're like tapped into like the Weirwood network, they can see all of space and time, right? Yes. Like all the history of Westeros and all this mm-hmm. other stuff all, and, and possibly into the future. And with uh, with this thing, there was like, it was all Daenerys and n- not anything about Jon Snow, even though he's a Targaryen. So like I was like, where's John? Mm-hmm. Where's John in this vision? I didn't even think oh, about that. Yeah, that's a good, and you know the thing, thing is, right? And this is also. This. Do you guys all think that Jon Snow is Azor Ahai? Yes. Do you not? I don't. Yes. Who do you think it's Daenerys? I do think it's Daenerys. Think about it. I think that Azor Ahai has to be uh, reborn in salt and uh, salt and smoke. And, and guess and who was done that? Jon Snow. Yeah. So did Daenerys in season one. Yeah, but she never died. It's true. She you never know, died. John is going to die. Well, he does die. I honestly, I think that John, uh, so this is going on a tangent. I think that Melisandre okay. uh, 
brings him back. And then I think that he becomes the foil to Daenerys. Yes, he's the fire whites. And when you think about it, he, because this is another thing that they took out of, you know, without going. We're going to go off on a tangent. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Okay, fine. Sorry. <laughs> I just, uh, but, I either, but, either, but either when you because when you think, uh, when you think about it, he is the song of ice and fire. His is the song of ice and fire. The prince of his promise. He was the third head of the dragon. Yeah, I do. I do. Because when you think about it, the there's never a fusion. There, are all these families have all fucked each other and merged and had kids with each other. All the great houses and even the smaller houses. Stark and Targaryen never did that. It was supposed to happen after this dance of dragons, but it didn't. Mm. So it happened finally with Rhaegar and Lyanna. And but anyways, uh, also, we also talk more I'll, later I'll, about I'll, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just, just, just to that, and this is book nerd stuff as well. <laughs> like when, when Jon Snow gets murdered, the, you know, his his last words, like ghost. in the books, mm -hmm. are, are ghost. And so, like the the Stark children are wards, so like All they're, of them. They're, they're able to basically like kind of like uh, inhabit the the bodies of of their like animal familiars. And so the idea here, and we get this from Beric Dondarrion, is like every time you're brought back to life using the fire kiss. A part of you doesn't return, like, right. like like you're missing part of your soul. Mm -hmm. But because John warged into Ghost before the the killing blow, his soul remains intact. And mm, so when Melisandre brings him back, he'll be which she hasn't done yet in the books, by the way. But when she does bring him back, uh, his soul will be full, will will, will be whole. Mm. So like so like he'll return, he'll truly be reborn. Yes, um, but like he's not going to be at the disadvantage that the others have, where the you know like, Kate Caitlin Stark or Beric Dondarrion, like they're missing. Part of who they were. I do like that. Too. Yeah, that's you, know, that, you hit the ooh, you hit the nail on the head because that's that's what they took out. Isn't of the this show. a more interesting conversation? It's so much really more fun. Because that's, <laughs> when it, when that's, it sucks. That's it's better to talk that's, about. That's the thing is that uh, he hit the nail on the head. All the star kids were wargs. Now Bran is the most powerful, and he's also a green seer. But when you think of the second most powerful, that's Arya because Arya can warg not only into her her direwolf but other animals mm -hmm. as well. She was learning that as she was learning to be an assassin. Um, Sansa never got the chance to get that relationship with Lady because Lady was killed early. Yeah. We never knew that relationship with Rob and Grey, Wolf, Grey Wind because Rob, and just like all the kings, Rob was not a POV character because when you think about it, Rob, Stannis, Joffrey, Balin, and Renly were never POV characters. Hmm. We saw them through other characters, but we never knew what was going on in their heads. Okay. Yeah. We should get back to the show. I know. <laughs> should we though? <laughs> should we? All right, the next to. scene. To. This is morphing into a book talk. <laughs> That's, okay. That's okay. Listen, we can just stop and leave it hanging. <laughs> like they did. Like yeah. they did. Uh, yeah. They gave we'll, us blue we'll balls. Think, we'll yeah. we'll think we could all just like jerk off till we get hard and then leave. <laughs> <laughs> and then just like go have lunch or something. The next scene. I guess I oh, get right there. I almost forgot. Just like yeah. get, I'm just gonna say, gotta get right there and then let's go get sushi. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah maybe something less fulfilling. But you know what though? Um, going before <laughs> like, we like go maybe further. Some popcorn with no butter. Uh, <laughs> before we go further, yeah. we I actually we just actually skipped a scene. It was the Justin Cole Gwayne scene. Did did that happen already? Yes, it did. Yeah, yeah, yeah it did. It did. Okay. So Mopey, Mopey, Mopey Cole. So I guess what you happened. You brought it up. Go ahead. So I guess Gwen figured out. I guess he saw. You fucking my sister. Pretty He's like, much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What are you going to do about it? What? I've done it before. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of times. And so I guess he's, Kristen has just gone full nihilistic. Yeah. He's just like, you know what? Nobody has honor. <laughs> no one has honor. What does it even matter? You guys are all sheep. And he's just like, yeah, I'm dishonorable. I get it. I had it before. I kind of have a thing for queens. And <laughs> and also the fact he's just like, dude, these dragons, everything they can do. We're, we're nothing. Play, we're nothing. We're nothing to them. We're he's, pawns on a, he, on a chessboard. He, he literally said death would be a release at this point. Yeah. yeah. He's like, just That's it. Please he's kill there with yourself. His, with his sword <laughs> to his neck. Not the actor. The entire conversation. While he's, while he's playing great. with Allison's like scarf or whatever. Yeah. yeah he's yeah. smelling it. He's like, rubbing oh. his sword with it. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Lara says the same thing, only it's one of her socks. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so gross. So yeah, he's just kind of over it. And and mind you, there's a thing that kind of there are people around who yeah. are like seeing They're this. all just yeah. like, yeah, whatever. Check that out over there. Yeah. Look, like, look like, our, our two oh, army leaders got a sword hey, to the throat. Yeah. No? Oh, they're all right. Yeah. It's like, oh, the, the Queen's brother's gonna kill Chris and Cole. I wonder why. You guys yeah. care? <laughs> Meh. No. Yeah, whatever. I, I, I did like how Gawain was was like you know like the the other knights of the King's Guard you know would never sully themselves and uh, he's like really. Kristen Cole's like <laughs> sure about that. Yeah. <laughs> really, <buddy? laughs> Those white cloaks they don't really mean you anything. took an oath. <laughs> oath. White cloaks it's oh. paper. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was a. I actually liked Kristen Cole in that scene because I was yeah. like 
that's where he needs to be. Well, he needs to be right there where it's like nothing matters. Well, what, what's interesting is that, uh, so like the, the oath of the King's guard isn't to not have sex. It's to not bear children. Yes. Or have family. Yeah. Which yeah. is why. Have you guys seen the so memes really going around? Out? So, no, no. Have you guys seen the memes going around where it's like uh, Rhaenyra and Alicent both drinking the moon tea after having sex with Chris and Cole? <laughs> and they're like, nobody wants Chris Nobody and Cole's wants babies. His babies. <laughs> nobody wants his bastards. <laughs> like, God damn. Yeah. Because it's it, it, just right. He's like, they're not supposed to have wives or kids, basically. Right. Right. Uh, they can have lovers. Yeah. It's the same thing with the it's like well, they're the other supposed to have anything that they care about more than their job. Yeah. Right. It's kind of a flip side of it's the like a Jedi. The black yeah. cloaks or the white cloaks. <laughs> Gold cloaks, they don't give a shit. They can have a family. Yeah. yeah. All right. The next big scene is uh actually one that we should probably talk about for a little bit. Is, I'm sorry, uh, every time you mention Kristen Cole just now, I had um Bohemian Rhapsody stuck in my head. <laughs> Nothing really, really matters. Does he have a redemption? No, 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 no. We're just, he's just a mopey coal, and that's what he's going to be. He's just going to be a piece of shit. Awful, <laughs> awful. I suck. I hope I die. I, death would be a release. I, I just think. You know about. what, though? When characters. I hope I get eaten by Vermithor. I'm not, of, I'm not saying. Little, come out of a little dragon poop nugget. <laughs> and, and when you think about it, here's another thing, too, you got to remember. He's got to feel guilty for failing at his duty when it comes sure. to Aegon. Aegon? Aegon? Yes. Because he failed to protect the king, so that's got to be weighing on him. Yeah, and he's not even in King's Landing anymore, no. is he? So he's not getting the nookie, so there's that. <laughs> and also he backed Eamon, <laughs> yeah. the psycho who just burnt up, uh, what's their faces? That Allison Goodness. I think it was, uh, was something it? Point. Something Point. Sony Point, or I don't know. Stony Point. Stony Point. Stony Point. Yeah. We did it. We got there, guys. We did. <laughs> <laughs> the next yeah. scene, Eamon, Allison, and uh, Helena. Yes. Talking together. Uh, Eamon comes in. He's like, okay, listen, they got like seven motherfuckers riding. <laughs> well, first off, what he says, so. is, Elena says, I was happier when I wasn't queen. Mm. Mm. Well, what's what's interesting here, and because like, you know, Helena, Helena's back in the picture and she actually played a part in Damon's uh, vision, uh, oddly enough. But uh, in the books, like by this point, she's Jeez. either committed suicide or completely checked out. Oh, and, really? And they've completely changed like Ugh. her role in what's happening in, yeah, in the show. Yeah, she's supposed to be stark raving I, at this point. We'll get to that once her scene with Eamon, we'll get to that because yeah. they're, I have thoughts. Okay. But basically. He's like, hey, we need more riders. You need to get out there and ride your dragon. And yes. she's like, I don't. I don't want to do that. I don't want to hurt people. I don't, don't want to hurt people. Bad. I'm like a and pacifist. where is fucking Jahara? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. They <laughs> forgot they had be. kids. Well, actually, no. They, Which, who's, they, they just kind of forgot. They just kind of forgot. The twin, the girl twin that didn't get beheaded. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's just being. Was she like nine? <laughs> no, she's like four. She's still six. Four? Six or three yeah. or whatever. Six year olds ain't going to be riding no dragons around. Maybe. Well, she didn't have a dragon yet. That's true, too. I'm just saying. It's like, oh, look, there's Jahara. Yeah, so. Like, so Eamon, Eamon <laughs> is, is really showing his, um, the, the kinks in his armor. Mm. Uh, where he's like, now that he's actually being threatened by Rhaenyra's army. He's now, basically the only one. Right? Now he starts he's freaking the only out. Dragon yeah, he's right pretty his much fault. the only one. His fault. Yeah. This yeah. is kind of bugging me, too. Mm, Talk to me. He's making him so fucking unhinged. Is he not? No. Well, kind of. Kind of. He's, he's very, like, power hungry and thinks he's the shit. Right. But he's not burning up cities no. for no reason. Well, well, he's not well, yeah. grabbing his sister and, like, like rubbing her face into I, her I, dragon's I, I mean, asshole, it, being like, get <laughs> up there and fight. He's not doing no, that no, shit. In, in the books, he, he went on, like, a rampage where he was burning the all, the, all the cities in the Riverlands with Vagar. So, like, that that part is pretty accurate to the book. So, that mm. happens after... Mm. Did you forget the big I don't remember that, that, yeah. I do remember that, yeah. Okay. Because he was basically... And that was the... Uh, okay, I don't want to say too much. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, Helena, to me, Helena, I feel like she needs to be... If they're going to continue her storyline... She's and if she apparently, um, spoiler alert, she dies in the sh in the books. Yes. Okay. So most if, of the people all that die. we're talking about die. At Fair some enough. Point. Um, if they want to continue her story into like they want to get uh, all four seasons out of her, basically, <laughs> I feel like she needs to become like just this crazy prophet lady who just can tell. That'd the be people. dope. Right. Right. That'd be dope. Like just have her be the one who says these weird little things that come true four episodes from now. Well, that's kind of what they started with. That's what they started one, out right? with yes. doing. Yeah. Yeah. And then and, and then this episode, she was like, We're all just part of a story. And I'm like, is this like 
Deadpool fourth is wall meta, breaking. Is this meta breaking? <laughs> like, are meta? we talking like, okay, breaking yeah, you're wall. part of a story that's written and by George R. R. Martin. to like Joffrey tell him the story in Game of Thrones season yeah. three. Yeah. Three. Yeah. Three. Oh, yeah. Oh, that would be yeah. badass. Yeah. Yes. I like that shit. I, I feel like it's almost like a Stephen King Dark Tower type thing. Yeah. Where, like George R. R. Martin's just like, you know, writing himself into the story of yeah. God. You know, yeah. Like he, he's God or something. Well, his, his face is the one on the, on the, on uh, the tree. On the tree. Yeah. So, so basically... Eamon comes in. He's freaking out. This I need you to read. Dream. Up, I need. I need to. <laughs> I, need to I, need, you, ma'am. I need to do Dreamfire, and then basically, okay. Allison finally steps in. And is just like, no, motherfucker, it's not happening. We're not doing it like this. Mm-hmm. She's the gentlest of us. Go away, because yeah. it's hurting her. And so she you, stands you, up for her daughter. Are you good with that? Yeah, I'm just fine. She Why finally. Why do I did have it. to pour you? He just hands me his glass <clears throat> like I'm his goddamn bearer. And yet you do it. And I then know. and then he walks off. He does his mm, and walks off. Yeah. Like evil legalist. Listen, Eamon, like I, I'm cool with Eamon being threatened and stuff like that. And he's like, oh shit, I got I to get my shit together. I got I to gotta up my game a little bit. I'm fine with that. I just hope they don't. If they're not going to deliver on a season finale of season two, There's I hope difference. when it comes to this guy's storyline, they don't not deliver. Like I want this motherfucker to go like headstrong. I'm going to win this war. And then just get you read the book. banked. <laughs> well, the, I might have to. Yes. Because I can't you know, get off on the you'll show. Get, you'll get a better finish that way. <laughs> you, you know, the thing is, though, is like at the end of this episode, they showed that he reached out to his little brother mm-hmm. in Old Town mm-hmm. and it was like, hey, bring your dragon. And so, like, you know. And they we, showed, they actually showed a hint to add. Yeah, that was yeah, the, they show it, the cold blue, blue. But they didn't cesarean. really show it. We all had to guess. And then the show creators at the end of the episode were like, oh, by the way, that was uh, Darren. And- <laughs> well, 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 they, well, they haven't cast Darren yet. So. <laughs> yeah, who they didn't fucking mention until this season. They could have had somebody be okay, like, hold on. oh, that's Tessarian. Hold on. The normie in the room is confused. What are you confused about? <laughs> Talk to us. I, I don't know what you guys are talking okay, about. Okay, so at the end of this episode, they see a dragon flying with the high tower army. Did you see that? Did you see it? Remember that? It was like a blue dragon it must with have been yellow checked wings. Out at this point. Yeah, you, like a you very must not dis- have watched the end of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> the last, Which thing, I don't the blame last thing I remember is the king toddling off in his cart with the clubfoot. Just before that. So before that, there was the high tower army that was marching towards the riverlands. Okay. And mm-hmm. so what ended up happening, there was a dragon flying overhead. And it was like blue. Vaguely like blue. Bright, bright blue. I just thought that was... That, that was not Aemond. That was Darien, who's the youngest. Who's who, out- who the fuck is... Darian. <laughs> He's the son that was raised in Old Town away from Allison. We've never met him remember, in the show. Do you remember last episode when Allison was like, how's my other son doing? I sent him away. To, and uh, he's a old... dragon rider? Yeah. yeah. Yes. That's they're all, should be. They're, he's, a, he's, a, he's the son of Viserys. He's the youngest son. So, okay. I, I, I got to go watch it again. Okay. <laughs> that's fine. I, so, the problem, here's the problem. They never mentioned him, even mentioned him in passing in season one. But they finally mentioned him I, midway I, through season two. Yeah. I, can, here's, I can see the comments already. Oh, is that fat motherfucker watching the show? <laughs> doesn't, know what, doesn't know what's going no, on. What they no, what, what it needs to be for. The comments need to be, why doesn't the guy in the room understand what's happening in the show? Because they <laughs> yeah. don't fucking set anything up. Yes. Right. I'm yeah. so confused. That's why. Yeah. Because they don't they spend time with fucking bullshit that doesn't need to be and here. And mud wrestling. And mud wrestling yeah. and fucking and, and mushroom and, and, trips. And, and, and so what they end also instead and, of introducing pivotal characters. And so in the same so episode, drunk. I think it was two, it was episode six or seven. I haven't eaten anything. Clearly. Um, <laughs> episode six or seven, where they're like, I think Eamon was saying, let's reach out to the triarchy. Mm-hmm. They, that's when they mention they mention it. Tessarian is big enough. Now Darren is, can fly him. And I'm not trying to blow smoke up the old game of Thrones shows ass, yeah. but I'm, I will say that if it was the old game of Thrones show, first four seasons, we would know who this motherfucker is. Yeah. We would have heard about Dave. We, we would have heard, heard about, about him. We probably would have seen him a handful of times. Yes. He would have had some involvement. Now yes. they're just like, uh, oh yeah, that guy's here. Or you know what would have made sense? Well, when would have made sense. We would have seen him visiting from Old Town before he came back. Like something right. like that. Right, something. Yeah. God damn it. Because I remember even when at the end of season one and people like myself were just like, where the fuck's Darren? And then the showrunners finally had to address it. Like, oh, we didn't get rid of him. He's coming. Even if they had had somebody say, the army is marching this way and Darren is coming with them on to Sarian, we would have at least seen it and, and recognized it for what it was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We did see the twins. That was cool. Yeah, the cross. Oh, God damn it. The Starks just look so fucking badass. Because they're the Starks. The Starks roll up with their big, puffy, freaking mm-hmm. jackets and their <laughs> badass looks. And I'm jackets. like, these motherfuckers are going to war. All, all old men, too. Oh, yeah. Ray Beards. Dude, you, you fight like a fucking northerner. So you know what I mean? Who's this dragon? 
flying with? What so are? the Blue Queen, Tessarian, that is Darren's dragon. We got a spreadsheet? No, I got the episode up. Yeah. yeah oh, okay. Scrolling through the episode. Okay. So we okay. So after after the Allison Amon confrontation, what was after that? Uh, I don't know. Jace uh, has a conversation with his Allison wife. Allison just visiting Rhaenyra. Oh, that's right. Oh, okay. oh yeah. Hold on. Okay. Do we need to talk about that? Yes, we like will. Gonna, that's going to take about fifteen minutes. We will. Oh, this episode. Later. What the so fuck? What the actual what the fuck, fuck is that? Yeah. Yeah. Al- Allison just shows up on Dragonstone and yeah. is like, yeah. Um, everything that I've done over the past decade. Do you want to like? Do you want to just forget, forget about, all about it? that? Run away and have like a sleepover every day. Bitch, yeah. cut that woman's head off, or keep her as a captive and use her as a negotiating, you Should know, tactic. Should like, what that. is yeah. happening? And also, her agreeing to let her son get killed. That makes no fucking sense. And honestly, Book Rhaenyra would have shoved her into a black cell. Actually, immediately, he, he would have had Syrah. And then she's either. like, "Well, listen." She's like, "It's too late. I have to decapitate Aegon." And she was like, "Okay." Yeah, all right. Yeah, that sounds fair. I'm like, what? Did the- Worst mother ever. I mean, okay, if he was still in like a coma and he was half dead anyway, I could see her being like, because um, uh, does Renera know that Aegon's like fucked up? Like she Probably. knows to a degree. Probably. Okay. Yeah. Because Allison, if she was, if this, because in the book it takes him almost a year to recover. Right. Yeah. People know. If and Eamon is the is Prince in Regent. Queen Regent or yeah. Queen Prince Regent, whatever the Queen fuck Regent. His name is. King Regent. King Regent. <laughs> um. Whatever the fuck title they have, I don't care. <laughs> the crown looks better on me. It does. You never said it. I know. <laughs> and then, okay, you know what? But like, yeah, okay, so in the book, when they uh, when he takes over, he mm. grabs the crown, he puts it on himself, and he goes, "It looks better on me than it ever did on him." And it's like this moment in the book where you're like, "Oh shit, he's gonna fuck shit up." Uh huh. And that's why I had such. And, ho- him say it. and that's why I had such hope for the season because when. Uh, Aegon replaces his auto with Kristen as his hand. Right. He says the line, my new hand is a steel fist. I was yeah. like, yes! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Give me those fucking nuggets. I bet you they'll say that shit next season or something. Too late. Um, it's too late! <laughs> Vader, what are your thoughts on this scene? I'm still trying to figure out. <laughs> he, he doesn't even remember this scene I, I, either. No. I my head on my chair. <laughs> I just want to make sure we're not losing you here. Uh, no, I'm lost. <laughs> You're losing me. I'm scrolling through the episode. Oh God, he's I'm, looking at Rayna. I'm right looking now. at Sheep Stealer right now. Oh, uh, can we talk about that? And that's, yeah. that's, okay, okay. He's a wicked looking dragon. He is wicked looking, but here's the he's problem. He's so small. I thought he was supposed well, to be from far huge. away. From far away. Yeah. From far away. But here's the, here's the problem with this. The way Sheep Stealer was wooed before. It was a gradual process mm-hmm. where the person who was supposed to be the writer every day brought him a freshly slaughtered sheep. Okay. We're not seeing that. This chick just walks around the woods for a while. Well, the veil. The veil. So. And that drag is not even supposed to be there. Here's no. The other, here's the other thing. <laughs> God. Also, I was like, uh, she was walking with all of her family members and then she, she was chilled, went that way. Down. None of them fucking noticed. Here's the issue I have with that specifically. is just like, one. if if yeah, if it was, and I'm going to do they it They just again, kind of forgot that she was with them. And I'm going to fucking get a bunch of hate comments, I guess, but. Talk to us. If it was old Game of Thrones, like season one through four, this would have been her little storyline of chasing this dragon down would have been the entire season. Mm. She would have had something to do every mm. single episode for an entire season. Mm. And then finally the fucking payoff mm-hmm. is her walking up with a slaughtered sheep or whatever the fuck and but, said, can I ride you now? Apparently, you know, apparently though, she just spent an afternoon walking and, around on right, the trails. But here's like, the thing. Oh, I'm really thirsty. I'm going to get some water out of this. But here's the thing though. like pool of shit. The way the the way you know, this like, episode specifically is showing her is like her shoes are falling apart. Yeah, like she's, she's been so out there tired. for a year. She's been out there for a year. Why do this in one episode? And you know, You've done nothing with this character yeah. for eight episodes. Why are you just shoving this down our throats in the season for you know what been, been, This is the same series that had Gendry run to the wall and back. <laughs> yes, run to the wall and back. I know. That was row a for two seasons. I know. <laughs> and you know the big thing too is that what would have been the smartest thing She's in the veil. And mind you, the veil, where they were, that would have been maybe the lower part of the veil. Sure. Because where they, where the Erie actually is, because there's like three castles you need to get up. It's like some fucking Mario shit. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting the Sky World in Mario 3. Can we make, can we make this our, our yeah, thumbnail? We can, yeah, yes. Is, yeah. It, is this our thumbnail? Yes. yes. What yes. the fuck is this? What the fuck? <laughs> WTF. <laughs> and so basically... That's not, that's like all the greenery. It's like, no, she's, that should be stony completely. But what would have made sense? She finds the dragon. You could have had this a couple episodes before. 
little by little, she's wooing the dragon. Yeah. Right. Actually slaughtered sheep. Yeah. That could have been great. And then at the end of the season, she takes flight. Yes. Oh my God. Yeah. On that the same been cool. episode that they had had Vermithor and Silverwing <sighs> mm -hmm. get mounted, she could have done that with Sheep Stealer. And then that could have been the finale where everybody gets their dragons. The sowing of the dragon seeds could have been the finale. And that could have been something that wrapped up the fucking season. Yeah, yeah. you know what? Let's uh, speaking of dragons, since we're on this point, since we're 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 losing all we're format all here, but that's, yeah, fine. that's fine. That's fine. But matter. you know what? The here, host is drunk. I'm here's, sorry. Here's the biggest. <laughs> here was a huge issue, and it was funny because Jude reminded me of this. Apparently, oh, yeah. Sunfire's dead. Oh yeah, they killed what? Sunfire oh, yeah. off screen. Yes, yeah, Sunfire's yeah. dead. And Sunfire still has shit to do. Yeah, shit to like, do. Big important. Big shit important to do. shit. So maybe a they think he's dead? No, Aegon surely said, my dragon's dead. Well, he doesn't know. My dragon's you, dead. You my, know, when you have a bond with a dragon, you yeah. know whether the dragon my, is My already. cock doesn't work. It's exploded. <laughs> well, he said that too. Yeah. My and, fist you, you know. Oh, my that leg. poor bastard, dude. <laughs> and you know, the, the way he described it, he's like, like an overcooked I, sausage. I, I, I pissed down my leg. Oh my God. God. <gasps> Ramsey Bolton's in the corner laughing. <laughs> <laughs> God What's your damn. name? Your name is Reek. It rhymes with squeak. <laughs> but just, I think. Remember that villain? Remember when we were like, how are we going to top fucking Joffrey as a villain? And, and they Ramsey roll Bolton. out Ramsey Bolton. Ooh. And we're like, whoa. And you know, the, you know the crazy thing? He's a thousand times worse in the books. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I can't imagine. And then, you know who's worse than him? Hmm. Euron in the books is a thousand times Euron worse than Euron Greyjoy? Yes. That goofy ass pirate? <laughs> <laughs> They so stripped him down and de defanged him in the show. Oh, this guy, shame. literally, he is the greatest human threat in all of Westeros. Like, I understand why George is not in the writer's room because it takes him forever to get anything accomplished. But yeah. I kind of wish that if you're going to take three years to create uh, the next season, you might as well have George in the fucking yeah. room. You don't need George in the room. The book's already fucking written. <laughs> We need him to finish the fucking Winds of Winter. Did you watch this season, though? No, I'm just like, I'm like, like this story, but, by all accounts, is already done. You can read it. So, so, and it seems like you're going to the next part. So, okay, Amond and Helena have a situation. He tries to be more kind when he's approaching her again about her writing. And he knows life. her intimately, right? It's his sister. It's his sister. Yeah. Yeah. So he. I mean, that's what, maybe that doesn't necessarily mean he knows her. But maybe I'm saying, biblically, like, but yes. Okay. <laughs> but um, they don't fuck. They don't fuck. Unfortunately, that's a theory, but they don't fuck. What do you? Unfortunately, <laughs> you might have been a better lover than well, clearly Clip better it. now than yes. Aegon. That's going on Instagram. Oh <laughs> so anyhow, so the you know what this season didn't have was enough brothers, enough fucking brother sisters. fucking, <laughs> enough brother <laughs> fucking, enough incest. So basically, can I get a clink clink on that? Clink clink, yes, <laughs> yes. So basically, she basically tells him his fate. Because she's apparently right. seen, she's red fire and blood, apparently. Uh -huh. and, so she basically says, the God's eye is going to swallow you and you're going to die there. Because she basically said, I saw you. Right. I know what you did to Aegon. And he said, what you said is treason. And she's basically like, the God's eye is going to swallow you. Yeah, and the God's eye, to be clear, is that little island right yep. behind Harrenhal. Yep. Yeah, right? it's the water, yeah. Okay. So basically, and he's kind of getting a little emotional and whatnot. So here's the thing. Back to what I think you said and what Matt said. This is why how blood and cheese, this is why I was so pissed about blood and cheese because it almost goes back to Daenerys and the Mad Queen situation that happened in season eight. By them taking out fake Aegon, who was a pretty major significant character who showed up in book five, her becoming mad without like, any of the setup of having to deal with a fake pretender who's a blackfire. Yeah, Charles, you, you, you're going to need to explain the fake Aegon thing to the oh, people sorry. who haven't. Sorry. I, don't, sorry. I don't know anything about okay, that. Okay, sorry about this. So without getting too deep, I'll get a little deep. But basically, one of the one of the big fallouts of the Dance of the Dragons going out of it is that there's a cadet branch, a bastard cadet branch, basically Aegon the Fourth, Aegon the Unworthy, Gotta he, use less words, man. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a lot of, he has a lot of bastards. He has a lot of illegitimate kids. And as a fuck you to his legitimate son and everyone, he legitimized all his bastards on his deathbed. Whoa. And yeah. And so one of the kids who he basically considered his heir, who he basically fucked one of his cousins. And um, he gave black, he gave the sword Blackfire to that kid. His name was Damon Blackfire. It was initially Damon Waters. And then he, what he initially did, Damon Waters, took on the name Blackfire, like the sword, and says, I have a legitimate claim. So Darren, Darren II, he basically basically formed his own cadet branch, 
and they were called the Blackfires. And so he tried to take the throne. So it was the first Blackfire Rebellion. So there were about four or five Blackfire Rebellions throughout history. And then the last Blackfire Rebellion was the War of the Nine Penny Kings, which is basically Westeros' Vietnam. Is this how you feel all the time? <laughs> 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 uh, I, I'm going to hop in here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, okay. <laughs> Somebody needs I'm, to. Yeah, okay. I figure out how I can dip out and go to the bathroom. <laughs> so, <laughs> fair, enough, uh, fair enough. So real quick, in, in the books, uh, after uh, Daenerys uh, basically disappears, uh, they raise up a pretender Targaryen that they're raising an army for to compete for the throne. Mm -hmm. And then when she comes back, she uh, and Tyrion kind of has run-ins with, with these guys too, but there's like another fake Targaryen that's raising an army in the books. Uh, in order to compete for the Iron Throne uh, during the Game of Thrones time period. So that, yeah. that's just what Charles was long-windedly getting long to. Long-windedly yeah. getting to. That's what the Golden Company, who they neutered also in Game of Thrones. That's oh, I what remember the them. Yeah. <laughs> so the Gold <laughs> Company, their whole purpose was to put a Blackfire on the throne. So okay. when they're supporting this fake Aegon, you're just like, oh, okay, this is who they're supporting. Um, but anyway, going back to this, by what they did with Blood and Cheese, Helena's whole storyline, it would make sense that they'd be hampered because Helena would be too crazy to ride Dreamfire. Mm -hmm. So by what they changed, by making her still cogent, it's just like, okay, what is she fucking doing? What is her story? She's just a pacifist. She doesn't yes. hurt anything. Hmm. But she, she's also part of Damon's vision. And, and it's like, it's not an apparition of her and his vision. It's actually her. Like she's there watching him experience his vision. And so oh, that's right. I kind of kind of weird. Yeah. Yeah. Because she would be able to see stuff like that. Not to be overly negative. The next scene, Rhaenyra shows up in Harrenhal. And uh, this is great. Mm -hmm. I love from when she's like, let's fucking go. And yeah. she flies over there. We get the we get to see Harrenhal without lightning and storms. It's just <laughs> broad daylight. We got the army out there. Rhaenyra's like, Ooh, Ooh. and it was her and Adam. Adam. Yeah. She yeah. Did, she didn't take Olf because Olf's a dickhead. No. So she flies <laughs> out there. That guy then, doesn't even show up for riding lessons. No. Yeah, no. No. He's drinking, just kind of like I am right now. God damn. Man, <laughs> silver wing ain't afraid of nothing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't drink and ride and dragon dragon ride. Don't drink in podcast. Yeah. Which right. is what Aegon did, which is what got him fucked up. In That's place. true. Little bit, a little bit, a little bit. A little bit more like Aegon so cool. right now. <laughs> <laughs> stay grounded. Um, so we got to see the um, the river. closure of this entire storyline that yeah. they just created for no reason, which was unnecessary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So she shows up and she's like, hey, you got an army. And he's like, yeah, I do. And she's like, is it for me or is it for you? And he's like, it's for you. I do love that they were speaking to each other. High Valerian. Like, High Valerian. That was I do like that she was like, if you ever fucking leave me again, I will kill you. And yes. Like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> like, like, yeah. He's like, baby, I can't get away from you. Like yeah. this whole story, yes, it should have been done in three episodes, not mm -hmm. six or eight or whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but, okay, it's done. Can we put it behind us, please? Because yes, I'm over yes, it. Yes. Like, I, I don't need him to have weirwood dreams anymore. I do want to see more from Alice Rivers. We will. Mm -hmm. She's fucking cool as fuck. Well, we think we will. We oh, might we not. Okay, we so will. I have, Who knows? I That's have some true. issues <laughs> with the on. whole Eamon Damon overlap with the greens. Mm -hmm. Like uh there are there are greens and there are blacks. Mm -hmm. And Helena being like in Damon's vision and being like, Damon, <laughs> ooh, this is what you need to do. She's a fucking <laughs> green. She's a fucking green. And Alice <laughs> is also a fucking green. Yeah. And her, the and she's, and she's fucking green. She's fucking yeah, green, I'll tell you yeah. that much. She is not Damon's ally. Her having this whole, sorry, her having this whole storyline, <laughs> her having this whole storyline of like helping Damon become the man he's supposed to be is fucking bullshit. I'm just, bullshit. I'm just watching the monitor up there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. Listen, wow. Keep, I put keep talking, So Jim. much tape on keep my talking. boots. It was all I could do. Keep going, girl. <laughs> <laughs> right. Get mad. Get angrier. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Wait, I put my <laughs> anyway. Anywho. Yeah, no, it fucking annoys me that there's this overlap between, like, because there are a lot of similarities between Eamon and Damon, and, Dam and Eamon thinks that he's just like on the same level as Damon. And this is like a, a storyline in the book that mm -hmm. like has to come to a head at some point. Yes. But it's like the, the writers are being like, yeah, see, they're basically the same. 
Mm-hmm. And it's not. If they're going to use anybody to be like this weird, like, I take no sides person, Helena would probably be the one to do it. Because mm-hmm. I don't think she has, like, this fealty. She doesn't, she's like, oh, I'm, I'm green or red or black or whatever. She's just like, no, I'm just here. I'm yeah. green Dabadia. You know when yeah. she was happiest? Before she got her married to her brother. Pretty much. Yeah. For sure. Where she's just playing with her insects. Yeah. yeah. Bonk. I rewatched that scene recently mm-hmm. where uh, Tyrion was describing the 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 gunk guy who was killing all the Beatles. Why Orson, are you or, killing all the Beatles? Orson mm-hmm. Lannister. Yeah, yeah. But God damn it, dude! That show had so many freaking <laughs> gems, <laughs> gems. Yeah, I just feel like this show just doesn't have those moments. No, like they don't have these memorable moments. Like when you were like, "Well, oh, this is a season finale," and I'm like, "If if two years from now." When I'm watching season three, I'm going to go, I don't fucking remember anything that happened in season one. Honestly, I feel like um, the Battle of Rook's Rest was so great that yes. we held out so much hope for, for like, oh, shit, if they if they did that, ooh, I can't wait to see what they do with the finale. And then the finale was just like, uh, well, I'm, it's, it's just a regular ass Sunday, guys. <laughs> it was just a, it was a bunch it. of people marching yeah. and a bunch of ships sailing. It was all set up. Fucking it's all happening. Set up. There were really cool things that happened throughout the season, but there was so much stuff that they stretched out that unnecessarily for yes. zero reason. Yes. Yeah. Um, that it kind of made the whole season feel like very underwhelming. Dog poo poo. Well, I, I'm actually kind of surprised that they they didn't end with like the the first battle of the Riverlands, which which was like, you know, kind of what they were setting up yeah. in the season finale, because like there's that whole thing about like Heron Hall and King's Landing and like the shifting of the armies and all this other stuff where it's like if they had just like ended on like the the revelation, it's like oh these people took uh, Heron Hall, these people took King's Landing, stuff like that. It would have been like okay, like like I'm good for two years. And that and, and that's what I thought was going to happen was that Dude. you know Aemon is going to take Heron Hall, Rhaenyra with all her dragons are going to take King's Landing, and then what we see at the end of the season is we see that maybe Rhaenyra is not worthy of the throne. If you know what I'm talking about. I thought about. we were going to either end with that or the battle at God's Eye. That's too soon. Yeah, but if we didn't have six episodes of an acid trip, we could have gotten that. <laughs> but that needs to, that needs to, because we still need to have, you know, the half year queen. Don't forget. Mm-hmm. And Magor with teats. I know. So. Let's All right, we'll spoil see. Spoil anything for the non-bookies. I'm going to assume that they have a plan. Uh, I don't know what it is. Plan. I don't oh, know you sweet summer child. I don't know if it's going to be good or not, but. And, oh, I, and again, we don't know who captured Otto, which was weird. Yeah. It's the Beesberries or whatever. We don't, the fuck well, we don't know that. Are. We don't know that. We assume that based off of. I think the writers are relying on us to assume a bunch of shit. Yeah, it, that's it, true. It could very well be the Greyjoys that captured them. Like, like they're the, they are in play in, in the the story, and they do Not have a leader. It could be the Triarchy. He okay. was on his way there, wasn't he? No, no for uh, the sake, the other end of the conference. for the sake of argument, for it the was. people like me and and Dutch over here who haven't read the books, we don't fucking know. Mm. No. No idea. Why is he captured? We would just get a quick clip of him yeah, in a cell somewhere. Because he's not supposed to be captured, by the way. And we're like, when did that happen and who? Pretty like sure that, he's that's, supposed to already be back by now. I don't yeah. know. There's a bunch of issues with the show. One of the issues yeah, that is not with the show is the cinematography, because it's fucking amazing. It's, it's fucking pretty. <laughs> it's very super pretty. Super uh, whoever's pretty. in charge of cinematography, because I will notice that throughout this episode and throughout the entire season, there's been these like splash pages. Of like just massive shots, wide yeah. shots of like one character with a dragon and one character walking up a hill. And in this one, it's Rhaenyra in front of the army with Damon kneeling. Yeah. And it's like these these gorgeous. That that scene on the amazing. beach with the two dragons. The scene on the beach. That's, that's a poster, man. That's yeah. a poster. The Western yeah. face off. <laughs> Whoever's the cinematographer, keep on doing what you're doing, and bro. Also, and also sure. at the and also whoever's writing it, fucking stop. I know. And because <laughs> at the because that's also at the end of the last episode before the season finale, again. Rhaenyra with her, you know, Dragon Avengers assemble. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, and, and now I, you know, what they're trying to do? They're trying to evoke back to Daenerys in many ways. Mm-hmm. Look at this mother of dragons. Yeah, sure, man. But that yeah. show sucked. Exactly. So, well, I, 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 I want to talk like, about. Yeah, it's really pretty, but I might as well be just watching Keeping Up with the Kardashians because nothing fucking happens. Keeping You're up just with the Targaryens. All very fucking pretty. <laughs> <laughs> what were you gonna say, I, Matt? I, I, I want to talk about my favorite scene in this episode, and I know that Butter's already poo pooed it. <laughs> but I really enjoyed it, which was uh, basically um, Adam kind of giving Corliss a, the business. Oh, okay. Giving them the business. Yeah. So, like, like you, you know, Ad, Adam Adam was always like the the very like respectful one. He kind of knew his place. He was always afraid to kind of like, you know, push back against Corliss. Um, and then like in this one, Corliss is like, like, dude, I'm trying to help you. 
and he just oh, snaps what? and, and, and he, he's like he's like okay dad <laughs> <laughs> so let me give you a, a piece of my mind and, and, and he ba he basically went off on this like soliloquy of just I, I i was like i was like okay he just became a real character yes. in the show right. okay fair be, enough be, because corliss no one talks to corliss like that no and and the fact that and he tried to warn him too he tried to step to him at first yeah and the fact that adam was was willing to basically like just like lay it all out there mm -hmm. and and put corliss in his place shows that he has leadership potential yes. and so now all of a sudden I'm, I'm like okay like he's not a dragon rider but goddamn like he he's got the blood of the dragon he's got some moxie to him yeah <laughs> and also even especially i and you really felt for him when he was talking about how him and his mother and his brother because this is alan not adam right, talked yeah. to him um we're struggling. And then they're seeing Corliss walking through with his kid, with Lenor, yeah. picking, having to pick up the litter wherever yeah. they With their were. furs and their sweet meats yes. and all that stuff. Yeah. You know? And just like, ooh, yeah, Corliss, you're And And uh, Alan was, uh, is it Alan? Alan is the bald Okay. Boy. So, and Alan's basically like, like, dude, I came up on my own. You never helped me. I don't need your help right now. And Corliss was just like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> 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 All right, I like that perspective. I yeah. like that. I have a little bit newfound respect for that scene. Yeah. I mean, I, it was cool to see him because Corliss hasn't done jack shit this whole freaking season. Nope. So it was like, finally, we get some yeah. freaking meat and, to chew on here. And he was also humbled because, like, yeah. you know, like his bastard kid basically just like called him out and said, like, "Hey, mm -hmm. you're not the noble guy that you think you are." Mm -hmm. You know, and His, and mm -hmm. uh, I don't have to, you know, keep worshiping or walking on eggshells around you because. You're an asshole. <laughs> Basically, is just like, his yeah. bastard called him a bastard. Yeah. So. I love what you said. I mm -hmm. totally disagree, though, because mm. I How think so? that he is a sailor in the army that Corliss, that's his shit. Of course he knew who, he knows who Adam and Alan are. Of course, sure. Of course he has chartered a course for them to start coming up in their ranks. Whether or not he acknowledged them, that's a whole different thing. But... I don't think that Adam came up on his own. I think that Adam, yeah, he has his father's blood, but I think that his father was just like, yeah, put him on here and put him on it. He's fucking in charge. No, no, the thing about Corliss is he didn't pay any attention to Alan until Alan saved his life. Yeah. And and got him, you know, back home. Be like he knew about them, but he never did anything to help them because no. like he was afraid that his wife would find out and that like, you know, like uh you know the stigma that goes along with like you know acknowledging bastards and and things of that nature so like the his his respect is now okay all my children are dead and uh, this guy just saved my life and so like no, now i'm going to pay attention yeah no i think he had every right to say that because when you think about it from alan's perspective i'm like this guy basically knew i was his kid and basically ignored me for my entire life and i had to we lived in abject poverty i had to script scrounge scrap claw to get anything me and my brother we were all each other had we don't even know if their mother's still alive but he has every right to be like fuck you dude and that I'm was taking also, your hand that was also part of his conflict with alan where basically alan was like like dude you know our dad's finally paying attention to us why don't you ask him for some stuff and alan's just like like no i don't want anything from him you mean adam and alan yeah, the, 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 Same thing. The, the yeah. double A's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the double A's. Yeah. So this is a thing that the show just did, and it this is this annoys me. Corliss. <laughs> yeah. Like in the book, he has these two kids a year apart, so he gen he has a relationship with their mother, and their mother's still fucking alive in the books, by yeah. the way. Yeah. He has a relationship with her. He's been in their lives this whole time. Is it explicitly said in the books? No, no it's not. But for the show to be like. He had these two children with the same woman a year apart and he did nothing for any of them their entire lives. It's fucking bullshit. It's me. the same thing that they did with Allison because Allison was a half decent mother in the books and they completely just made her a shit mother in the show. Yeah. Yeah. Well, speaking of Allison, I want to get to the final scene here because <laughs> this whole thing with Allison, you know, making her way to Dragonstone. Making my way downtown. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and meeting with Rhaenyra in, in the wee hours of the morning Ugh. and basically cut, cutting a deal where she, she's like, hey, all of our people are going to be gone from King's Landing. <sighs> uh, you can sweep, swoop in and take over and we're just going to go fuck off because I want to be free. And uh, Rhaenyra's like, no. yeah, I'm still going to have to kill your kid. And, and Allison's like, well, okay, if you have to kill the kid. <laughs> But I want to save my daughter and I want to save my youngest son and blah, blah, blah. And it was just like. And they mentioned Jahara finally. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it was an interesting scene. But like 
this never happened in the book. No. Because, like, what this happened is, is that... Written, nonsense. So yeah. why are they just making stuff up? I, I don't know. For drama's sake? They're getting David... Is there, not, an, is there not enough drama in the There's book? There's plenty of drama. Listen to the Jude. Yeah. <laughs> they're, getting the, they're getting Dave and Dan syndrome where they're getting yeah. too much Kanye I just, I just don't... Smarter. This is the one thing. Of all the things that they could change from the book, which I haven't read, so I don't really give a shit, this is the one thing that I was like, this doesn't make any fucking sense mm, at enough. all. Why is the queen of the green? Yeah. If you look at the poster for this TV show, it's Rhaenyra versus Allison. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is green versus red. The two of these women are on black. the front page. Black, sorry, black. I thought they were um, going to start making out. I'm like, why That'd is okay. the, More interesting. Yeah. For lack of a better term, why is the leader of the green side negotiating the death of her family with the leader of the black side? And she has she no power. power. And she has they no power. power away. So she's just going to burn the whole fucking thing down? And you, <laughs> and you know what? Dutch Vader. Sorry, I'm not whatever man. Okay, don't matter. Um, Matt, his actual Matt, name is Matt. Other Matt. I, um, I just doxed you on. Don't ever do that. <laughs> <laughs> I am the older Matt. I am the eldest. Okay. I am not other. Okay. okay. Yeah, you, yours of calling him Matt Vader until he doxed him. Matt. <laughs> okay, Vader. We'll go with that. You brought up a really good point because <laughs> it goes back to what happened at the end of episode six. We've never heard a mention of that shit again. What mm -hmm. happened with her and Lady Misery? Again, what was the oh, fucking yeah. point of that? Oh, yeah. What was the makeout session about? <laughs> they just needed the makeout. Just give you a little something. Whoa, I totally forgot about Again, that. Again, another taste, Mother Blue Balls. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. I know! <laughs> and then we get the chick in the freaking, in the in the stepstones who's like, you're going to fuck up my wives, right? And Lannister's like, yeah, all right. Sure. <laughs> He's like, how many wives sure. do you have? How many, how many times do I have to do this? Do I have to do it in one day? Or? Do you have electrolytes? <laughs> <laughs> it's a power aid. Are there sandwiches? <laughs> I can really use a sandwich right raid. <laughs> I, I, I do love how like they, they, they kept kind of like ribbing uh, uh what was it, Tywin? Thailand. Thailand. Where they're oh. they're like, Oh, you you're quite doughy, aren't you? And then it's like, Oh, you're you're not a bad looking guy, you know, like you know, went went to get all cleaned like, up. Yeah, like, why, why did she why did they make her red Sonia? <laughs> And I it's funny, I will not My follow any man that does not best me. And it's funny it's that you like, brought that up, Matt, because they actually mm -hmm. did kind of make that little thing where somebody called him Tywin. I thought I missed her. It's like, no, no, they called him, oh, no, called him Tyrod. They called him Tyrod. Tyrod, Tylin, Thailand, Taiwan. She called him everything but his name. Okay. But my takeaway from the mud wrestling scene was that everyone's <laughs> teeth was way too nice. Exactly. She's a pirate, bro. She should have missing teeth. Yeah. Or at least a grill. A grill. Yeah. I would <laughs> okay. have accepted a grill. My final Made gripe. Seashells. My final gripe with this episode. Just uh, there's things to like. There's things to not like. It's mostly just a big, big Blech. fat lat down. Mm. Um, I've got the scene pulled up, which is another splash page, which whoever's in charge of the cinematography. Great job. Mm -hmm. Great job. However, Sheep Stealer, mm -hmm. that's this little girl. Yes. She's what? 15, yes. 16 years old. Mm -hmm. That's her standing upright. Mm -hmm. Okay. And in, in relation to the dragon, she is about the same size as its head, which means a 16-year-old girl is the same size as this massive dragon's head. Mm -hmm. That doesn't make any sense. When you look at uh, <laughs> Voldemort or whatever the fuck his name is, Vermithor. I'm sorry. I'm so drunk right now. Vermithor. <laughs> You've had like one glass of water. I haven't eaten anything so, all day. So, so here's <laughs> the, never finished one, so it all counts so, as so one. So here's the thing you have to realize with Vermithor. Vermithor is the second largest dragon in the entire world. Right, but sheep stealer is supposed to be like, what, third largest of all the dragons like maybe fifth? right now? Fifth. Fourth or fifth? Fifth-ish. Something like that? Fifth-ish. It looks tiny. Silverwing is bigger than It that. looks like it's the same size as Aegon's dragon. But here's another problem. It's, uh, it's supposed to be much larger. So here's another problem with this scene. Make it big. What does she have to offer the sheep stealer? Not she has nothing. nothing. Oh, she's got a buckle. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like they're just going to do what they did with Silverwing. Or actually sea smoke. Yeah. Are you yeah. looking? Where is, you looking is this at? that dragon? That's Tessarian. Yeah, that's, that's the that, blue one. I don't know who it is. Tessarian. That's Darren. They never mentioned Darren Targaryen. We need, we need to wrap this up. Yeah, <laughs> I'm done. I'm toasted. I am. It's an hour and twenty minutes. If you guys are still watching at this point, <laughs> good, good on you. <laughs> um, hey, we're more interesting than the actual finale. Yes. We yeah. are. <laughs> I can well, keep I love going, but I get talk. you guys. You yeah. guys got me going with the book talk when you were like, you know, talking about what actually happens in the book, and I'm yes. like, oh, that sounds interesting as fuck. Doesn't it though? You should yeah. read the book. Wait till you see what Sunfire Listen, fucking does in the book, Listen, and they already killed. I Sunfire. just got. I just got Lord of the Rings: Return of the King in the mail that I'm going to start reading to my kid. I got to finish that. I got to finish the Lord oh, of the Rings the series. The audio book for Fire and Blood is actually good. They for, switched uh, narrators. 
Okay. Is, this oh, good. Yeah. is this for the kid? You're doing it for the kids? Yes. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I that read I read the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit to the kids at bedtime. I love that. Um, That's awesome. So I haven't gotten to Game of Thrones yet. A little, a little bit older. Maybe I'll start reading that. Yeah. Good <laughs> <laughs> yeah. thing they don't have sisters. Yeah. <laughs> God. Oh, you got all boys? Yes. Nice. Three boys. Okay. All right. On that note, um, <laughs> any final thoughts on this? This is a very piss poor season finale. Listen, I love the actors. I love mm-hmm. the characters. I love the idea of the story. I love the cinematography. Everything's top notch except for the fucking writing. Mm-hmm. Like, why is it so hard to do set up and payoff? Set up and payoff. Set up and payoff. Yeah. Pay so, something off. Like, you yeah. can't have the number one episode of your show be episode four out of eight. Mm-hmm. Well, you, some people you, will say that that uh, What's Your Face coming up on Sheep Stealers will pay off. Well, the, the, no, the, the, the thing is, though, Alex, is like they this episode paid off a lot of the story threads that they you know were building up throughout the season. The only issue is that the story threads were boring as fuck. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And nobody cared about them. Mm-hmm. And so, like, when you're paying them off, you're just like, eh, okay. It's like yeah. Alan, Alan chewed his dad out or whatever the hell is. Oh, great. Cool. Okay. Good. You know, yeah, good. Oh, Steeler this... got found after she trips through the for an wilderness afternoon. for an afternoon. <laughs> and yeah. And the uh, struggle. It's one episode. Yeah. She looked for that fucking dragon for one episode. You right. know what would have been more interesting with the whole Coralist thing Talk is if us. Rhaenyra had been like, oh, shit. That's your bastard son. Get him on a fucking dragon. Legitimizing him immediately, and then have Corliss be fucking awkward about it for the rest of the season. <laughs> that would have been more interesting than than Alan being happen. like, you know what? I was starving. You know, what, you know what I would have done? You know, you know the whole. You know how Aegon is. Don't found. fucking eyeball it like that. You eyeball it, it with eyebrows. I can't and help it, it, dude. It's like your that. eyebrows fucking wiggle it's out like, like a creep. <laughs> It's like that episode of Seinfeld where they're like, did you see that cleavage just kind of clock? Well, don't look directly at it. This is like that last episode of C. <laughs> All over again. Dude, just like here with her tits out. Hi, hey, everybody. I'm on the table. Make her with I'm so, I'm so glad I'm here. I'm to wear this today. I'm looking at Jude and she's very passionately talking and then my eyes just go, blah. <laughs> Sorry for the audio only. People. You know what? I'm wearing Melisandre's All dress. All I can say is very low. Cut. I'm glad I'm not in your position, right? Because <laughs> I saw what was going. I was like, oh, I'm looking away. <laughs> no, I'm doing it. Like, yeah, Jude, I'm picking up what you put down. Pull your hat down. Pull your hat down. <laughs> I, I look at it, Alex. <laughs> He's, Vader, he's straight I walked out. in today. He's, Vader yelled at me for his future boner <laughs> later on today. <laughs> Alex, Alex is dealing with what I had to put up with. <laughs> In the lost episode, when I was like this the whole time. Oh my god! <laughs> Jude's tits literally on the table, and she is completely fucking wasted. Okay, I did not have my tits out. Oh my god! No, they were out. Have, I had oh them. I was wearing clothes. You're no. making it sound like I took no, my no, top no, not off. No, 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 not today. Not today. In the lost episode, I didn't take my top off then either. Oh, I'm <laughs> wearing a very oh, nice, head, Lord, pretty dress. Me. That by Jude, were, it's a very pretty dress. You realize, <laughs> you realize Harry, definitely... Harry at the end of a double header <laughs> that day. Okay, what? see, she does not sports reference. <laughs> I don't know. There's Wasted. Either. See, you guys are all too young. So, uh, so uh, okay, I'll put my final so, thoughts. This whole season was very disappointing. There were bright spots. There was a lot of dragons, <laughs> but it was just a lot of setup, setup, setup. That's all it was. Gate gatekeeping, gaslighting, girl bossification of Rhaenyra, yeah. which I fucking hated. And the series se- season finale did not pay off. It's just like. How talk about dropping the fucking ball into the middle of the shivering sea? And now I gotta wait two years. <laughs> yeah. Yes, probably longer. If you're God lucky, damn it, probably longer. Yeah. And just like you know what they're playing. This is this is what irritates probably me. Probably another writer. This is a this is a management yeah. issue with like HBO and whoever's in charge of like d- designing these shows. They're gonna drop a Night of the Seven Kingdoms. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's right. That's coming yeah. in like six months. What's that? Oh, that's 20, six months? 2025. It's, oh, shit. Uh, okay. Another side story. So, uh, so this they're going to have that. And the first show. It takes place so, after this, but before Game of Thrones. So this happens like probably like 30 years. Duncan and Egg, right? Yeah, it happens okay. like 30, okay. 40 years before. They're going to drop yeah. that in between the two years that we're waiting what? for House of the Dragons. So I, what they're doing is they're, I don't want them to do this, and I hope they're not. But I they're purposefully they're, making I think it. They're doing Dunkin' Egg right now. Yes, they're filming they're it right now. Yeah. Well, no, no, the teaser came out already. Yeah, they're they're doing like post production on it. Like it's what? shot. Oh, it's shot. Why wouldn't they take a bigger series like this and just film it all at once? 
I don't, I don't get it. Just they keep... know they're going to go so far. Also, the Dunkin' Egg audiobooks are really good, too. Oh, good to know. Yeah. Well, one, my issue is, like, HBO, whoever's in charge of it, is like, okay, we're going to do Game of Thrones, House of Dragons, and then when that one's on break for two fucking years, we're going to do Dunkin' and Egg. And then when that one's on break for two years, we're going to have another House of Dragons. Yeah. And, then we're, and they're going to leapfrog these fucking Dragons. shows. What I'll yeah. say about the Dunkin' Egg stories, though, is that there is a start and finish to each one of their stories. Yes. They go through adventures, and there is a start and an end for each one of their end, uh, adventures, which I yeah. think will be entertaining. And it's a much more like uplifting yes, it's much Game of positive. Thrones universe story. So just for Vader and Alex, so basically Duncan the Tall is a knight and Egg is actually going to be Aegon the Fifth. Right. But he's in hiding he's and in he hiding. shaves his head so nobody knows he's a Targaryen. Yeah. Right. Right. I, I, and, right. I know the I, basics. Yeah, me too. I just, but what my okay. issue is is that I'm kind of like seeing, not, I'm seeing the Matrix right it's now. Like I don't, it's not like I don't want to watch that. Mm -hmm. I do. I absolutely do want to see it. Mm-hmm. But I want to finish this story and then do that story. Makes sense. No, they're going to leapfrog them to you know, keep your subscription to HBO you know, Max going. Keep you and that's what bothers me. It's I like can, they're not I can, making. I can turn it off and then turn it back on. They're not We're making all just hamsters on the wheel. They're not mm -hmm. making shows for entertainment. They're making shows for subscription models, mm -hmm. and it fucking irritates the shit out of content, me. Content to promote more content. Right? Yeah. <laughs> it's seriously. That's not, like, Ma isn't Max, that what we're doing too? <laughs> Ma Max is one of the few streamers that I won't get rid of. I I, I watch Max all the time. Speaking, Speaking of, of shows that start great and end. Meh, here we what go. Doing next all right. week. Next week, starting in the in, I, I, we're doing the first season for sure. Yeah. yeah. Peaky, Peaky Blinders. Blinders. Okay. If you're a fan of Peaky Blinders, I brought the hats. If and, you want to do a picture, I absolutely do. Uh, and when, if you're a fan of what we do here as a group, please join us next week. We're starting with episode one, season one of Peaky Blinders. If you're not do... sure and you think we we could do better, stick around. See. I mean, that show's arguably better than this one, so maybe we'll have more fun with it. And Vader's <laughs> never seen it before. And you've I've never, never seen I've it never before. Seen it. And and you've never seen it. Never no. seen it before. Okay, I didn't know if the time commitment was too much for you. We'll talk about this later. But it, yeah. if, if you're more it's than welcome to join episodes, us. Six episodes, right? Well, I mean, I'm coming to the studio and all that shit. Yeah, okay. It's um, British. It's very British. <laughs> but I love it. Killian Murphy. Oppenheimer guy. Bond. You yeah. love yes. it when people say Fulkin. Fulkin. There's a lot of C words in it. Yeah, yeah, maybe. All right. No, that's more of an Australian thing. Oh. No, 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 that's a British thing. Is it a British thing? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. It's just it means yeah. something different for them. Cool. Sometimes I can say the c word. Yeah, it's just a cigarette on this podcast. Well, it's it also means like <laughs> idiot or just crappy person. Yeah, cool, perfect. Um, <laughs> all right, well, that being I use said, it too. <laughs> thank you for joining us for our season two of House of the Dragons. The next thing that we're going to be covering on the podcast is Peaky Blinders. So if you like us, you like what we're doing here, hit subscribe, comment below, and join us next week for Peaky Blinders. Uh, that being it, thank you so much for watching the show. Appreciate it. I uh, hope this episode was more entertaining than the freaking The actual episode. episode. <laughs> I got a text message from both friends of mine who are like total normies, not nerds at all. They're just like, yeah, I just like the show because it's got dragons in it. Um, they were like, what the fuck was that? And I'm like, I yeah. know. Normies are mad at this show. Mm. Like, I don't know how the message is going to get across, and I don't want it to go directly to the actors yeah. or anything. It's literally the, the producers we, and the writers. We are love the like, actors. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, the, the actors are fine. The, the, the press over this series is going to be very interesting over the next couple two of years. Yeah, <laughs> because they're going to be there's going to be articles come out about how they kind of dropped the ball on this season. Yeah, yeah. You know? Bullshit. And that's one of the things I forgot to say while we were talking about it is that the after show pats on the backs by the show creator eh. is so yeah. fucking annoying. Mm -hmm. Like, did you guys watch that show? Did you guys get it? Here's well, everything we didn't show. show you in the show a... that you should have gotten if you were smart enough to get if you were like one of the one of the cool audience members. They pulled a Prisoner of Azkaban See, movie version, which I fucking hated. I had an idea in my Settle head. Down. Sorry. That because we <laughs> we've got a we've got a couple connections with some people. I'm like, oh, we could do interviews after this. No, no, because no. I, I got too many questions that Honestly, are. Honestly, be... they're so busy, they're not watching. <laughs> no, they're not. No, they're not. No. <laughs> All right. Anyway. That's it. Thanks, guys, for watching the show. Appreciate it. We'll see you next week for Peaky Folk and Blinders. Bigger Folk Blinders. And to all the House of the Dragons fans. We'll see you in two, three years. Two, three yeah. years. <laughs> you know, keep the subscription up, though. Or Dunkin' yes. and Egg, right? We're gonna, we'll do that. Dunkin', Dunkin' and Egg is coming up in a year. I guess we'll probably yeah, cover we'll, that. We'll do that for sure. Make yeah. sure you join our Patreon. Mm. What are we doing for Patreon? <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> Extra Something shit. Something new all the time. <laughs> Saltinerdiscord.com. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Stay the salty. tape is failing. <laughs> Another shot of the Jude boob. <laughs> wow. <laughs> End it on that. <laughs>